boy have I been so bad at updating my videos on my channel lately because of that let's go straight in and let's talk about this little compact RGB light by Wheelight the Wheelight S05 but before we go into the review I do have to make a quick disclaimer that Wheelight did send me over this lights for reviewing and they did say that I can keep them however as always all my reviews are going to be my honest opinion on this light so don't worry about that also like all my other reviews my reviews aren't going to be an in-depth scientific type of review with charts and stuff like that they are just me sharing my personal findings while I was using them so if that sort of review does tickle your fancy then I guess this review is definitely for you okay so let's just jump straight in let us talk about the build quality of the Wheelight S05 when I first held it in my hands, I must say it does feel pretty well made and it doesn't feel immediately flimsy or anything like that. However, it is made fully out of plastic and it does feel a little cheap compared to my Aperture RGB light. The buttons on the unit too feel very well made and definitely don't feel like it's just going to break off that easily. All in all, I would say that the build quality is pretty reasonable and I don't really have any qualms about it. Now that's out of the way, let's briefly talk about the specs of this light. Okay, as you may already know, this wee light S05 is an RGB LED light. It weighs around 108 grams, which makes it a little less than 70 grams lighter than an iPhone 13 or a 14 if you are in that ballpark right now. This light can be tuned to 36,000 different colors, so there's quite a lot of colors that you can tune into. The color temperature of this light ranges from 2800 kelvins all the way up to 6800 kelvins. This light comes with 20 built-in lighting effects, which include ambulance, police car, T TV and fire, just to name a few. This portable light can also be controlled via the Wii Light app, and you can group this light together with your other Wii Lights if you do have any other Wii Lights around you to make them into a group. The light boasts a CRI of 95, so colors are pretty precise considering its size. So that's briefly the specs. Now let's talk about the usability and experience of using this light with some samples, comparing it against my Aperture MC RGB WW light. So far, using a light, in my opinion, was relatively easy and straightforward. However, there were times that I did find going through the different modes was a little confusing and clunky as every different mode requires a press of a button. I can't stop emphasizing how much I like the scroll menu wheel system on the Aperture RGB light. I find it way easier using that sort of system than using a system that uses buttons. So yeah, I really wish that they would implement this wheel system in their lights in the future. Fortunately, this light can be controlled via the Wii Light app. So that does at least help with the user experience a little. Another feature I wish this light did have is magnets at the back of it so that I can easily mount it anywhere. So that's one thing about this light. It doesn't have an easy way for me to mount it just anywhere. So yeah, so it'd be quite nice to see the next version having some form of magnet so it's easily mountable. And the size of this light has to be one of the best selling points to me. As for the output of the light, I think this light packs quite a punch of power for its size and weight because it's a no-brainer at all to bring this light everywhere you go if you just need a quick splash of light and color. Charging is also pretty easy and it's pretty fast. I'd say maybe around an hour or so will give you a full charge on USB-C. Okay, here's a quick comparison of this light against the Aperture MCB MC RGB WW. Well, after using this light for a bit, what do I think about this light and who do I think should really get this light? Well, for me, this is one of those lights that is super useful to have with you at all times and stash it away in your camera bag for those moments whenever you need a splash of light and some color too. Also, despite its slightly clunky user interface, this light makes it up back in its size and weight. So if size and weight is super important to you, then I guess this light is definitely for you. Right then, that's my review on the light. I hope you did find this review useful and helpful. Don't forget to give me a like comment and subscribe and also do turn on the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever i make new videos also i have left links in the description down below of all the gifts that i use to make these videos so do check them out right then see you guys in the next video peace